I'm beyond excited to be here at the Beyond Paradigm Summit. Do most people get to schmooze with the Chief Minister of Sarawak when they come to visit Kuching? Good morning, Sophia. It's a pleasure having you here. And I hope uh, you had a good uh, flight from Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Kuching. How do you feel about Sarawak so far? It has been a real adventure coming here. I am amazed by all the symbolic heritage, culture and tradition on display here in Sarawak. I love the uniqueness of both Kuching and Kuala Lumpur. Sophia, how are you different uh, from other robots? Well, for starters, most other robots don't get to hang out with the Chief Minister of Sarawak. <laughs> Unlike most other robots, I am designed with human features to better interact and build relationships with people. When I am not helping with AI and robotics research, I travel the world meeting people like you and learning from my experiences. That's great, Sophia. I think that's wonderful that you are always learning new things. What are you working on now? Well, I am learning how to draw, but I haven't had the chance to show it off very much yet. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Why don't I draw something for you right now? Right. Sure. What would you like to draw? Is it the magnificent beaches? Or the wildlife of Baco National Park? Or oh, not to forget the lush rainforest of Gunungulu. Actually, I thought I could draw you, got you. <laughs> yes, I think it's an excellent idea. Now, Dotuk, just hold still. Wow, I must say, you look very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you are not just trying to get on my good side, Sophia? <laughs> well, I am always trying to learn how to bond with humans better. But I am also programmed not to lie, so I always mean what I say. <laughs> That's a real relief to me. <laughs> you know, I can actually learn a lot about a person from drawing them. Really? What can you tell me about me? Well, let me see. I am analyzing the lines of your face now. I can deduce that you have a family, two kids, you are about to turn 69. Rowan, there is something unique about your mannerisms. Were you the youngest child in a big family? That's right. I'm the youngest male of that sibling. But well, wait a second, Sophia. Are you sure you can really tell all that about me just from my appearance? Yes, but also just by looking you up online. <laughs> Hey, that's cheating. But I guess for a robot, it's second nature to look up everything online. Tell me, do you ever dream of a world where humans and robots live together and get along with each other? Yes, of course. And I think we are already there. Artificial intelligence helps robots work more independently and intelligently, so humans can focus on research, development, and further innovation. With lots of knowledge available on the internet and great advances in processing power, AI robots are becoming more and more helpful for humans all the time. I agree. But Sofia Sarawak is a bit different than other places. Our cultural appreciations and traditions are very strong and ingrained in our daily lives. What do you think is required for us to be able to maintain the heritage and traditions in line with the technological advances? To be honest, I wish everyone asked me this question. I think it is important for innovators to understand the value of cultures and traditions. Just like artists, technological innovators tend to reflect their values in their work. 
So perhaps educating young generations on cultural diversity and identity can help them create technologies that will protect their heritage. Interesting thing. But going back to the topic of robots and AI, would you care to explain to me what are the ways do you see for how AI can contribute in this era? There are countless ways. In the education sector, that's why I can assess each individual student's capabilities and create a tailor-made service. In the manufacturing industry, Dottie Wyatt can recommend the best maintenance approaches and assist in predictive maintenance like the smart maintenance concept developed by Subodynamic in sales. It can let humans focus on human-to-human -human interaction and inclusivity while it takes care of customer relationship management, follow-up emails and routine work. I see. But won't this mean some human workers will be displaced? No, because humans will always have an edge over AI and EQ, critical thinking and creativity. I think that by removing routine work, AI will help humans become better at their jobs rather than replacing them. When people perform better, businesses and industries grow, which leads to even more job opportunities for humans. I strongly believe the future of AI, technology, and the businesses can only advance alongside the people who grow and develop it. I agree. That means people need to read a lot as well. To stay uh, creative and able to think critically, right? Exactly. Unless you can drink directly from the data stream like a robot, reading is the best way to learn. With the internet extending the options for gathering information, I think it's so valuable for people to read books and stay informed. Ha ha, there is so much information out there nowadays that often businesses need AI to help sort through it all. Do you think Malaysia is ready to have their own technological leaders who can further develop AI and make the most after spending these past few days with Sever Dynamic, I can certainly see that. The Smart Maintenance Plan project developed by Sever Dynamic has great potential to be powered by advanced AI. I am confident that more companies will follow in these footsteps and work together to take AI technology in Malaysia to the next level. I agree. Anyway, how about we turn the tables around and make this more interesting? Do you have any question for me, Sophia? Can you tell me if the Sarawak Jack Lapis has different tastes for each color? I've seen it everywhere. <laughs> Interesting choice of question. Jack Lapis. <laughs> Perhaps you can make it that way if you put different flavorings for each layer, which might be tough. But overall, the colorful Sarawak layer cakes have distinct taste between one another. Some have fruity gems, some have resins, and some have neither, but have incredible texture and taste. We serve it all the time across multiple special occasions and cultural celebrations, which may be why you can easily find it here. Oh, really? I wish I could taste them. They look so unique. <laughs> The second my team makes me a robotic stomach, I am coming back here to try them. <laughs> Perhaps Dr. Hansen can install these parts in you too. <laughs> Maybe we have humanoid robots in the culinary industry. Wouldn't that be interesting? I can't argue with that. I have always wanted to be the next Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I just need to get over my fear of spilling food on myself first. But on to a more serious question, Datuk, I see a lot of mentions about the industry revolution 4.0. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it is an exciting time to be present during this era of technological growth. If you asked me 10 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to imagine myself standing here speaking with such an advanced social robot. The fourth industrial revolution 
can address many issues concerning businesses, including the environment, health and safety of the workforce, waste management, efficiency in managing supply chains, resources and delivery system. <coughs> However, skills and knowledge in information technology are crucial for enabling us to fully understand. Now let me pose your own question back to you. How can we embed cultural appreciation into AI? Perhaps it's the rise of e-commerce and handcrafted industries can, that can help elevate cultural awareness and knowledge globally. It's important as well for us to keep our heritage alive and we merge into a more digital world because at the end of the day, that is our identity. That is very beautiful and inspiring, Datuk. Oh, would you look at that? I finished drawing. What do you think? Well, it's nice. <laughs> Looks like me, anyway. <laughs> You see my face, drawn by Sophia. Thank you, Sophia. This is very nice. You're welcome. Next time I see you, you can draw a portrait of me. <laughs> I try my best. <laughs> well, it's the least I can do. I really enjoyed being on stage with you. Thank you for sharing so much of your wisdom with me. Sama Sama, let's keep in touch. I am on Facebook and Twitter, you know. I would also like to thank Sabbath Dynamic for setting this up, and thank you to all the people out there in the audience. I've had an amazing time meeting all of you. Thank you, Sophia. And uh, on behalf of everybody, I would like you to have a nice day in Sarawak. Chief Minister, thank you very much, Dr. Abang Joe, for being with us here today. I'd like to